Diverse perspectives abound concerning the origin and duration of the gift of the spirit of prophecy. Some assert it as a contemporary phenomenon within the church, while others believe prophetic voices ceased with the closing of the New Testament canon. Yet, to discern truth amidst these divergent views, we must turn to scripture, where clarity resides amid the maze of personal interpretations. Before delving into scripture, let's establish a definition for the term prophet. In Hebrew, the word for prophet is NBA, Nabi, signifying a spokesman, one who communicates on behalf of another through divine inspiration. This underscores that prophets serve as conduits for divine messages speaking with divine authority. Why does God require a spokesperson? One may inquire. Could not God communicate directly with each of us? This query finds its answer in the Genesis narrative. Initially, God communed personally with Adam in the Garden of Eden, yet after the fall, humanity was severed from this direct communion. However, God's love for his people remained steadfast. Scripture attests to God's compassion as he sends messengers, the prophets, to guide his people back to righteousness. The prophetic lineage stretches back to the earliest days, with figures like Enoch, Noah, and Abraham bearing witness to the spirit of prophecy. Even when the Lord sought to communicate more directly with his people, as in the time of Moses, they recoiled, preferring an intermediary. Could it be that the overwhelming holiness of God rendered his direct presence unbearable to sinful humanity? If so, are we any more capable of bearing his presence today? In light of humanity's fallen state, if God desires to impart a message to lead us from darkness to light, how would he convey it? The spirit of prophecy emerges as a beacon of hope, a divine conduit through which God communicates his will and guidance to his people. As we navigate the complexities of our existence, let us remain attuned to the voice of the Spirit, recognizing it as a gift bestowed out of divine love and compassion.